All right, we got a litter of six week old puppies here. Um, we've been introducing them to some loud noises and uh, in order to get them uh, introduced to gunfire. We'll start that out with food bowls. We're gonna, we want them to associate the loud noise with something good. Uh, to start with, it's gonna be food. We'll eventually transfer it to a, to a retrieve. So we got these babies in here eating while their heads are in the food bowl. Um, we'll just start out. Now, Brian's already done a little bit of this. See, we're making some noise. They're not even picking their head up. He's done a good job with the, uh, introducing the, the banging of the pans. Not a single puppy's head has come up out of there. So now we're gonna, next step will be introduce real gunfire. All right, we got our litter of uh, six week old puppies here that we've already introduced to some loud noise with food pans, banging them around, raking them up and down the kennel. Now we're gonna introduce them to gunfire. I have a 22 revolver with blanks in it. I'm gonna move away from them about eight or 10 yards, hold it behind my back, and I'm gonna keep an eye on the puppies as I shoot. Normally when I shoot, their heads will come up out of the food bowl and look around. I'll wait on them to put their heads back in, and then I'll shoot again, and then I'll gradually move in over the top of their head. Uh, within two or three days, I should be able to stand right over the top of them and shoot. So I'm gonna back up a few yards here. I'm gonna keep an eye on my puppies while I'm shooting. All right, here we go. Let's we'll see how they react. No reaction whatsoever, so I'm gonna move a little bit closer. Well, they got one to pick their head up, but there's still not much to it. So see how introducing the food bowls and stuff uh, made a good... Still nothing. I'm gonna move a little bit closer. I'm pretty impressed with this because this is the first time they've uh, they've actually had gunfire. No problems whatsoever. Mr. Bryan's done a great job with them with the food pans. No issues whatsoever. You can't ask for any better than that. So all we've done is teach these puppies that the loud noise is something good. In this case, it is the food. In another month or two, once we get them retrieving out to 30, 40 yards, then we'll introduce the gunfire in a field at the distance, and then we'll gradually move it in over their head. So this was perfect. All right, we got us a six and a half week old puppy here. We've been socializing, all that sort of stuff. They'll be ready to go home here in a week or two. Um, we're gonna introduce them to a duck wing today. Hopefully by the time we get them home, we'll have them chasing a live bird and this will be step one. All we're gonna do is tease the little girl with it. Hey, hey. Come on, come on. Are you stretching? Come on. I'm gonna try to get her to grab it. There you go. We're not gonna play a lot of tug of war with her, but we will for the first day or two to get her all fired up about it. That's a girl. We're gonna let her hold on to it for a minute. That's a good girl. That's a good girl. Yes. That's a good girl. Yeah. That a girl. Good girl. Not bad for day one. There you go, once they bring it back, just let them hold on to it for 10 or 15 seconds before you take it out and out of their mouth and let them lo love on them and get them to pick up this wing. That's the first step in uh, moving towards picking up birds, which is ultimately what we're gonna want out of our duck dog. The next step, we'll use a teal or some sort of small duck that we saved. So that's a good girl. We want them crazy about these ducks, that's for sure. All right, I got a friend of mine. I had a litter of puppies, they are six and a half weeks old, and he asked me to come over and show him how to do introduction to puppies uh, for various things. Uh, he's been introducing them to loud noises, that sort of stuff, so I brought a pigeon over here today. We're going to introduce them to a live bird. So they have never seen it. One of these has seen a wing, and that is all they have seen. So let's see what they do. I'm just going to put it down, let them chase it around, and... Uh, I've clipped the wings, obviously. We got one interested party. Mm -hmm. 
The main reason we want to introduce these puppies at an early age to a live bird is that's ultimately what we want them crazy over these birds. We'll transfer this from a pigeon to a duck or, or whatever it is you're going to be hunting. The more excited they are about these birds, the better off we're going to be down the road.